What happens if our eyes can't identify colors? If our eyes can't identify colors, it typically means that the cone cells in the retina, responsible for detecting color, are either malfunctioning or absent. This condition is commonly known as color blindness or color vision deficiency. The most common types are genetic and affect how people perceive different colors. There are several potential scenarios depending on the type and extent of the condition, red-green color blindness is the most common. Proteinopia and deuteranopia are the two major types. People with this condition have difficulty distinguishing between reds and greens because one of the cone types is either missing or not functioning properly. Blue-yellow color blindness, tridenopia, a rare type of color blindness, affects the ability to distinguish between blues and yellows. People with tridenopia confuse blues with greens and yellows with violet or light gray. Total color blindness, or achromatopsia, in more severe cases, a person may be unable to see any color at all and perceives the world in shades of black, white, and gray. This occurs due to the complete lack or severe dysfunction of all three types of cone cells. Monochromacy is a rare condition where only one type of cone is functioning. Individuals with monochromacy can only perceive one color dimension, so they see everything in a single hue or a grayscale. What causes it? Genetics, most types of color blindness are inherited. Mutations in genes that affect cone cells cause this condition. Injury or illness, eye injuries, certain diseases, and exposure to chemicals can damage the retina or optic nerve, leading to color vision problems. Aging, with age, some people experience gradual color vision loss, especially the ability to distinguish blue from yellow. Medications, some medications may have side effects that impair color vision. The impact on daily life is significant. People with color blindness may struggle with tasks that require color identification, such as reading traffic lights, selecting ripe fruits, or choosing clothes that match. However, many adapt by relying on brightness or texture cues instead of color. Specialized tools, like color identifying apps or lenses, can also assist them. If someone experiences a sudden change in their ability to perceive colors, it's important to seek medical attention, as it might signal an underlying health issue. Color blindness is a condition that affects how people perceive colors. It's not about seeing in black and white, rather, it's a difficulty in distinguishing between certain colors, most commonly reds and greens. This happens because of a deficiency in the cones of the retina, which are responsible for color vision. There are different types of color blindness, with the most common being red-green color blindness. Imagine looking at a ripe strawberry and seeing it as a shade of gray or brown. This can make everyday tasks, like choosing clothes or interpreting traffic lights, a bit tricky. Interestingly, color blindness is more prevalent in males, affecting about 1 in 12 men compared to 1 in 200 women. It's also important to note that color blindness isn't a form of blindness, many people can still see colors, just not in the same way as others. Understanding color blindness helps us create a more inclusive world, where everyone can navigate their environment.